For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On Wednesday, July 7th, Israeli forces launched a series of violent raids across the West Bank. Heavily armed Israeli soldiers raided the headquarters of the Union of Agricultural Workers Committees, UAWC, in Albire, outside of Ramallah. They seized computers and sealed the entrance and ordered its closure under military notice for six months. Israeli forces also arrested 11 activists, including prominent Palestinian healthcare expert and the executive director of the Union of Health Work Committees, UHWC, Dr. Shatha Odeh. The UHWC itself faced a similar raid on June 9th and was also closed under military notice. The People's Health Movement condemned Dr. Odeh's arrest in the strongest terms and demanded her immediate, unconditional release. Dr. Ode and the UHWC are at the forefront of demanding equitable treatment and better services for Palestinians under occupation. Student activist from Birzeit University, Leanne Nasser, was also arrested on Wednesday, July 7th. The latest crackdown against activists and civil society organizations in Palestine has been met with sharp condemnation from organizations within Palestine and internationally. The International People's Assembly released a statement on July 9th condemning the repressive action against the UAWC. The international platform stated, We stand in solidarity with UAWC and with the Palestinian struggle for liberation. The Landless Rural Workers Movement of Brazil, MST, also condemned the closure of UAWC, their partner organization in Palestine. UAWC committees in Gaza organized a protest to reject the closure of the office in Albire. The UAWC is an internationally recognized organization and part of international networks like the Via Campesina. Following Israel's bombardment of Gaza in early May, the organization launched a campaign along with La Via Campesina to support small farmers, fishers, and others in the food production sector in Gaza. They highlighted that the bombing campaign caused around $27 million in damages, including greenhouses, agricultural lands, and poultry farms. Despite the shutdowns, the UAWC, the UHWC, and the other Palestinian people's movements and organizations that have been targeted in these repressive actions have vowed to continue their work.